the show with some breaking news we've got right now from down south. I believe that we're receiving news that HD Kumara Swami and other JDS Netas are currently, as we speak, at a TRS body meeting. Telangana Rashtriya Samiti is the TRS. KCR, the Chief Minister of Telangana and also the head of TRS is meeting with Kumara Swami as we speak. Remember, this piece of breaking news fits perfectly into a larger story that we've been telling you about over the last few days. That KCR very much has national ambitions and it seems over the last few weeks that that has become surer and surer in the run-up to 2024. Now, as you can see, two big leaders from the South on one side, Telangana Rashtriya Samiti head KCR and on the other side, JDS leader, former chief minister of the state of Karnataka, HD Kumara Swami, both on your screens right now. My colleague Swastika Das is with us live right now to bring us more details. Swastika, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show. Swastika, if you could just impress on our audiences why this is of significance. Swastika, are you able to hear me? All right, my colleague Swastika Das, we'll attempt to re-establish connection with her. But as we were telling you before this, uh, in the last few days, we've watched as the Telangana Rashtra Samiti head and the Telangana chief minister, KCR, has made it more and more known that he very much has national ambitions. But remember, over the last two years, too, we've, we've watched as KCR has met with other opposition leaders across the entire country. Now, I'll bring you more details because after months of positioning himself as a national player and also, of course, after touring states to meet anti-BJP leaders, Telangana Chief Minister and Telangana Rashtra Samiti President K. Chandra Shekhar Rao is on mission 2024. He's all set to launch his national party. I believe the Mohorat, the auspicious time for all of that is 1.19 p.m. today. Uh, I believe we've actually been able to patch Swastika now. Swastika, over to you. Well, Toya, yes, the energy is palpable here and it's almost clear that today TRS is going to be renamed to the Bharat Rashtra Samiti. That is the name that is being put forth by all the leaders here. To give you a quick sense of what is happening on the ground, we are expecting the Chief Minister to arrive at the Telangana Bhavan anytime soon now. In fact, uh, visuals playing out on your screens right now show that the Chief Minister was in fact uh, uh, you know, giving a extended and a scrumptious breakfast to J leader and former Karnataka Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy who is here, BCK Chief is also here along with a series of farm leaders who have come here to participate in what is called a historic moment for the Telangana Rashtra Samiti. They are calling this historic because the party chief, uh, Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao is going to finally take that big step forward, jumping into national politics with a focus on the 23, 23 Assembly elections as, as well as 2024 uh, Lok Sabha elections. So essentially what can we expect today? We have a confirmation now that at around 1.19 p.m. based on the auspicious Moharad, uh, the BRS resolutions will be adopted. It will be put forth before 282 members who are taking part in the general body meeting that is going to take place here at the Telangana Bhavan. We are also expecting uh, all the leaders and uh, we also have HD Kumaraswamy who is going to take part in that uh, crucial meeting where resolutions will be adopted for the BRS and eventually at around 4 o'clock we can expect Telangana Chief Minister to lay out the roadmap before the media and to finally give a clarity on how the BRS is going to shape up and what its likely plans are. What else do we know from the developments here? We know that in the coming weeks after the resolution has been adopted here, it has a go forward from all the party members here. We are expecting Chief Minister to start touring the country. In fact, in the coming weeks, they will also move the election commission with a petition to name TRS as BRS, that is the name coming forward. Forward. Apart from that, what about the party color and party symbol? We have a confirmation that the party color will continue to remain pink. As you can see behind me, the standard hoardings that have now been put up across Hyderabad 
What about the party symbol? We are uh, learning that the party symbol will be slightly modified and it is going to bear an India map. This is the idea that we have picked up through our sources uh, and all the top leaders who are now attending uh, go this general body meeting which is expected to start anytime soon, anytime when the chief minister walks in. Toya, back to you. Swastika, could you tell our audiences are other important opposition leaders also expected today? If you could repeat your question, please. Yes, yeah, Swastika, I was asking you if we're going to see other senior opposition leaders from across the country attend today. Well, yes, today JDS leader H.D. Kumaraswamy, former Karnataka chief minister, is here. He was yesterday received by KTR and today uh, over, we are learning, we have seen visuals uh, playing out on our screens right now where over breakfast menu, the chief minister uh, sharing his thoughts and how the entire meeting is going to go forward. So we have JDS uh, H.D. Kumaraswamy, we have uh, Revana also who has come here along with other MLAs who have come here from the party. We also know for a fact that BCK chief has also come here, Chidambaram MP is also here to throw his support. Now we have also learnt via our sources that K uh, Telangana Chief Minister KCR had also reached out to Akhilesh Yadav asking his support and this comes in the backdrop of his meetings that took place a couple of months ago uh, but because of the ill health of Mulayam Singh Yadav we are given to understand that there has been a communication saying that uh, Akhilesh will not be attending here. Apart from that, we have also learned that uh, support has also been sought from other leaders like Rakesh Tikayat has also been kept in the loop about the developments that are taking place here in Telangana because one of the core agenda for the BRS is to replicate, remember, the Telangana model as a challenge to what they call the Golmal Gujarat model. So what they are going to essentially project once BRS takes shape is a golden Telangana model or Bangaru Telangana model where they are going to show how they replicate. 24 hours free power and water supply scheme and the various other schemes that they have been implemented here in the state now that is going to be implemented on a nationwide level that is one of the key promises that of course uh, the BRS is likely to uh, you know show up that is something that the chief minister himself has been talking about so that is why the role and the participation of farm leaders extremely important but it remains to be seen whether uh, there will be support from DMK chief uh, MK Stalin considering KCR went out to him as well whether there will be support from Udav Thakre as well Stalin particularly since he has an alliance with the Congress and the TRS so far is very much clear that they don't want any to do anything to do with the Congress at this juncture they're coming up with a front that is totally anti-BJP and anti-Congress they're presenting an alternative front to the country and that is the reason why we can expect KCR perhaps reaching out to more leaders in the coming days but for now I can say Toya it's a standalone fight that KCR intends to put up and that's the reason why today 21 years after the TRS will perhaps take a new leap of faith and emerge as the BRS which is likely to be called the Bharat Rashtra Samiti it's going to open a new chapter in the history of KCR himself and also a big uh, uh, you know, uh, in a way, uh, ceremonious welcome that he is anticipating into the national politics with an eye, of course, on Telangana. With us on the ground right now in Telangana, bringing us that report.